Truck prices have become insane and manufacturers have made them unaffordable for the vast majority of the working class. This is really a shame because a pickup truck used to be the everyman's vehicle. They were raw, bare bones machines built for work. Now, fancy lifted trucks roam city streets with well-groomed golden doodles riding shotgun. Anywho, if you were paying attention at all in any of our previous videos, you may have noticed my daily driver was a Toyota Tundra. We don't say it out loud here, but there's a simple reason for this. When I bought it a little over five years ago, it's what I could afford that wouldn't give me any maintenance issues, and I wasn't doing any long hauls, so I could kind of overwork it, and I didn't care about fuel economy, weight, or power. But as my operation has grown, and I'm hauling more horses, both of my own as well as outside horses, this has changed. So, what did I go with? A few weeks ago when I was getting serious about making a change, I was well aware that I am not at a stage of life where I can justify $60,000 for a truck. I priced out a really basic Cummins Tradesman. Uh, it came out to be 58 grand without taxes or a flatbed. And I just wasn't gonna spend that kind of money because I would always rather have more livestock at this point in the game. So I called up a local diesel shop that is pretty well renowned, uh, Moonlight Diesel in Hyde Park, if you're wondering. Talked to one of the mechanics there. Based on his recommendation, I knew I needed to find this. The 2006 LBZ Duramax with the six-speed Allison transmission. I have always loved these early Duramaxes, but the LB7s had injector issues, the LLYs overheated, but GM really dialed in the LBZ, these little beauties. And the best part is their pre-emissions back when W was president. Now Ford, Dodge, and Chevy all have their claims to fame. Ford has a 7.3, which is awesome. Dodge had the 12 valve, GM has this. Um, I personally always respect guys that have older trucks and really nice horses. Um, to me, a nice horse that you made yourself is, is a really cool status symbol. Um, I'm pretty excited about this uh, little find. I bought it from an older guy who did an awesome job maintaining it. Just occasionally pulled a camper and a toy hauler. It does have 193,000 miles on it, but it is so clean. Um, and so we're excited to see how the old Goldie Max runs here. If you're familiar at all with Brad Paisley's 2003 album Mud on the Tires, or song Mud on the Tires, you know he sang about a Chevy, you know George Strait sang about a Chevy, and if it's good enough for those guys, it's good enough for me. Guys, thanks so much for the support on the channel, appreciate you helping us out. Tickle the like and subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, happy riding, driving, pulling, adios.